Beauty surrounds Sweden's breathtaking landscapes, from architecture that's rich with history to the lush green countryside and vast boreal forests, which are part of the Baltic Sea archipelago. Wildlife like the roe deer that call this home are flourishing, and the diversity found here offers hunters like myself an opportunity for a trip of a lifetime in hunting experience. <laughs> Traveling to Sweden to hunt with my favorite person, Yogi, from JR Hunting, was the perfect welcome to this incredible country. Yogi and I are out checking cameras, doing some repair work. We got the trailer and um, so far in this field, there's a good road to your buck yep. and some pigs and he was going to try to fix this. We'll see. Hmm. Might be fixable. There's nothing that builds more excitement for a hunt than scouting. My first trip to Sweden over the summertime allowed me the opportunity to get to know the landscapes and plan with Yogi a strategy for our upcoming roe deer hunts. Here is a roe deer buck going to it, head down. Let me just be clear what Yogi's realizing is that I'm not a carpenter. We're done working on the tree house. Got such a beautiful view. I call it a tree house. It's beautiful. So rude. so rude. All she did was stand next to me and laugh. Our summer scouting paid off and we set our sights on two bucks, both for very different reasons. The first is a massive buck in his prime and the peak of his potential. The second is an old buck deemed a killer buck for the goring potential of his antlers. And while I leave for a quick trip home to the States, Yogi is keeping a close eye on these two bucks. It's our first night hunting with you in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And the weather sucks. It's not going as planned. No. This episode is going to be completely different than normal episodes because we are filming it. Yes, there's no professionals doing it. It's just us. So don't have high expectations, people. We had originally planned to film this hunt prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, due to travel restrictions, Yogi and I are on our own. With a storm rolling through overnight, the morning brings with it a much welcomed bright bluebird sky and buck showing off full of red activity. It's definitely him, but he's still about 300 yards away. Yeah, I 
I'd like to try to get a little closer. This grass is too tall. Like when I look through my scope, it's just not, it's not good. I don't have a good angle and I wanna make sure I get a nice clear shot. still feeding. Um, he went straight down, but I obviously want to be cautious when I approach. So let me grab our sticks and head over here. The grass is so tall that once those deer put their head down, you really can't hardly see them. So just work slowly and try to try to find them. My first roe deer. They're so tiny. It's a beautiful buck. Look at how his, um, he has no gap yeah. in between here. They're like touching. It's perfect. I don't think I've ever been so nervous. <laughs> we have put, Yogi has been watching this deer all summer and we hung stands this summer. We've done so much work and he's done so much work. I can't believe it. I, I think I was more nervous on this hunt because I didn't want to mess it up for Yogi because I know how hard he's worked on it. Like. I just wanted it to be perfect, and it's perfect. Now we get to set our sights on relocating the killer buck for Yogi. The camera set up here. Um, the other week I was out there calling and this big old killer buck, we call him, came out of the timber here straight out there so i put a camera here now and we'll see if there's any pictures of him on that camera you saw one of the young ones pigs there he is that's him perfect so he does frequent this area 24th of august but we're definitely going to sit up sit up on the hill there and see if we can Find him again tonight. Last time I saw this buck, um, he was on a trail camera picture about 150 yards from here down in that piece of bush over there. He also was in this area the time before I saw him. I called him out of the timber down there. He came out of that same trail where that camera is sitting and he's living around here, definitely. For me, one of the best parts about this entire hunt was Yogi's reaction after shooting the killer buck. As a guide and outfitter, he rarely has the opportunity to go hunting for himself, making this hunt success so special. <laughs> and this is what we call it 
uh, a killer buck because when they fight normally the front forks of the two bucks would lock, lock in but with him not having that he will gore any other buck that he's fighting. And to make this trip truly the hunt of a lifetime, together, there in the Swedish countryside, we committed to living the rest of our lives together with many more adventures to come. <laughs> <laughs>